Hi, in this video, we study maximum likelihood estimator. So we have studied that the multiple linear regression is estimated by least square, that this least square estimate for parameter beta is a special case of maximum likelihood estimator if epsilon j's are IID normal. So we review a notion of maximum likelihood estimator. So this is a basic example and not related to maximum likelihood, oh, sorry, the multiple linear regression. So consider the situation that we randomly pick up a die out of three unfair dice, X, Y, and Z. And we roll it once. Then suppose that you don't know the, which die that you chose, but you can observe the result. So suppose the result is the two, the face of two. Then, okay, so we have the three dies, X, Y, and Z. X is actually a fair die, so one six probability for all six faces. And Y is a loaded die, and it, um, it will have the one, the face of one with probability one half, and the one tenth for other cases. And Z is more complicated. One will be 30% and two with one half. And the other case, one twentieth. And if we observe the outcome is two, then we compare these three cases. And actually the, without any condition, we have one third chance each for to pick X, Y, or Z. So, if the outcome is two, then since the Z has higher probability to have two, actually the probability that we have picked up Z increases. So um, we choose, we decide the um, most likely um, choice of our die is the Z. So that is the um, so-called maximum likelihood estimator. So the maximum likelihood estimate is Z in this case. And this function, so x to one six and uh, and y to um, one tenth and z to one half. So this function is called the likelihood function. And the, basically, the maximum likelihood estimator is the maximizer of this function. So one half is largest. So this is a kind of um, you know, special concept in terms of probability because the X, Y, and the Z, so these die, each of these die, dies that determines the probability space. So total is one, total probability is one. So if we see this table just horizontally, that is just the usual way to do probability theory. But the maximum likelihood estimation, think about the function I mean, this table vertically and think about the function from this possible you know, model to the values. So, so this is the concept of the maximum likelihood function and the maximum likelihood estimation. And in reality, we don't decide between rare situation, but maybe the first possible choice is that the sum variable follows the normal 0 0.5 and variance one. And the second case, the var variable follows the normal the one, one. And third case, the variable follows normal 1.51. One. And that we consider which you know, model is most likely. So we choose between these three models. So that is a typical case for maximum likelihood estimation. Okay, so think about the linear model now and what is the MLE? Yeah, so at first we think about the, a little bit uh, uh, simpler case. So since linear regression, we only have the one random part epsilon. So epsilon follows the normal, the zero sigma square. So we think about the um, 
probability density function, the PDF of this epsilon j. And since this is the normal um, random variable, so this has the density of this, the one over sigma times square root of two times expectation of the epsilon j square over two sigma square. So if we have n terms, then um, that is the product j is equal to one to n of this function. And usually the taking logarithm makes it easier to think likelihood function become, because the product becomes a summation. And summation is easier to deal with usually because for example, that we can apply the central limit theorem. And if we take the um, logarithm, then uh, this function becomes this, uh, one half times the log of two pi. This is anyway constant minus the log of sigma minus the sigma, the epsilon j square over two sigma square. And the linear model, linear model is x is equal to the x beta, the y is equal to x beta plus epsilon. But anyway, so we will minimize, we wanna minimize this error size, the to be exact, that we wanna minimize the sum of epsilon j square. So that is the, you know, the criterion to estimate beta. So, um, so this um, likelihood function can be also used for this the multinomial uh, um, linear regression. So, okay, so least square estimate, least square estimate is minimizing this uh, summation of epsilon j square and the maximum likelihood estimate is maximizing this quantity, the number four. So we will show that these two criterion criteria are actually the same. Okay, so the previous figure, uh, previous the, um, the expression of the log likelihood function is here. So we want to minimize, we want to maximize this um, with respect to um, sigma first. Okay, so actually the um, sigma is a kind of the uh, nuisance parameter. So we have basically want to estimate beta, but we have another parameter sigma, epsilon follows normal sigma square. So basically the, we are going to estimate this with respect to the sigma and the beta at the same time. So at first we maximize this with respect to sigma and to remove sigma. Then after that, that we determine beta. So we take that strategy. So we differentiate this, the quantity number four by sigma. Then log of sigma, negative log of sigma becomes the negative n over sigma. And the last term, the epsilon j square over two sigma square. So that becomes summation of epsilon j square, I'm a summation here, and divided by the sigma cube because the two becomes, so the sigma square, so we differentiate to sigma square. So two appears and the cancel with the denominator two. The negative also cancels. So finally, that we get that the sigma square um, should be, so estimate for sigma square should be the one over n uh, to the uh, one over n times the summation of epsilon j square. So that is just the so we solved this equation. Yeah. So we plug in this number to the original the um, log likelihood function number four. Then that becomes the, this function. So it's much simpler. Why? Uh, because the, this the sigma square is estimated by summation of epsilon j square and the dot term cancels. So it basically becomes constant. So only one sigma remains. And the sigma, we plug in the sigma square is equal to, sigma square is equal to the summation of the epsilon j square. So actually the, um, the quantity number four, equation number four becomes this equation number five. So the maximum likelihood estimator minimize this quantity. Uh, sorry, they maximize this quantity. So, but this is negative, the log of this function. So basically we have to minimize this quantity. Since n is already given, so just the sample size. So that means that we minimize the sum of epsilon j square. 
So that means the minimizing the um, sum of squares, the, the error term squared, the square of errors is equivalent to maximizing the likelihood function. So that means that if epsilon j follows normal distribution with the mean zero, the variance sigma square, then that is equivalent to the least square estimate. Yeah, so the, we introduced the concept of maximum likelihood estimator and the, showed that the MLE and the least square estimator are equivalent if the multi, um, so if the epsilon that follows the normal distribution with variance, the fixed variance sigma square. 